Hello students. Our today's reaction is it is Hel Bolhard Jaliski reaction. Hel Bolhard Jaliski reaction. It is also known as HVZ. HVZ reaction. See what happens here. Any carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid, which are containing alpha hydrogen, are treated with chlorine or bromine in presence of red phosphorus and water. So here a substitution occurs at alpha position means alpha hydrogen gets replaced by the hydrogen. So here substitution occurs at alpha position. One of the alpha hydrogen gets replaced by the halogen. Suppose our carboxylic acid is ethanoic acid or acetic acid. See, the adjacent carbon to the functional group, this one is known as alpha carbon and the hydrogen present over alpha carbon, these are alpha hydrogen atoms. See, these, remember that these alpha hydrogen are acidic in nature. They have a tendency to set free as the H plus, as a proton. See, what happens here? When a bromine is treated with such type of acid which is having alpha hydrogen in presence of red phosphorus and water so one of the alpha hydrogen will set free and we will get this type of compound where one of the hydrogen is replaced by the Br and another Br will come out with this alpha hydrogen in the form of HBr. The reaction will occur till there are hydrogen atoms over the alpha carbon. Means that further it is treated with bromine in presence of red phosphorus and water is taken here. Another hydrogen will be replaced by the Br Further, one more hydrogen is here. That will also be replaced by the Br. See, now as all the alpha hydrogens are replaced, so reaction will stop. See, remember here one thing, if here halogen is taken, uh, bromine is taken as a halogen, so reaction will stop as the alpha hydrogen will get finished. Means the reaction will proceed till there are alpha hydrogen. As soon as the alpha hydrogen gets finished, reaction will stop. On the other hand, if chlorination occurs, so, the react, uh, once the alpha hydrogen will get finished, so thereafter, <coughs> reaction occurs further during along the chain. Okay? 
means uh, even after completion or uh, once all the alpha hydrogens are replaced thereafter reaction will occur along the chain okay this is the difference see if chlorine is taken then after complete substitution at alpha position the reaction occurs along the chain means thereafter the beta hydrogen will set, will be replaced by the chlorine on the other hand remember that if bromine is taken here then the reaction stops as though as all the alpha hydrogen atoms are replaced so this is the difference here major difference is it clear so what is held von hart zariski reaction so this reaction is exhibited by those carboxylic acids which are having uh, hydrogen at alpha position and in this case the carboxylic acids are treated with chlorine or bromine in presence of uh, red phosphorus in the water so alpha hydrogens are replaced by the halogen see this is the reaction react if bromination is there or bromine is taken here as a halogen so the reaction will stop till uh, after um, all the alpha hydrogens gets replaced reaction will stop but if chlorine is taken then after uh, complete removal of all the alpha hydrogens the reaction will occur along the chain means thereafter substitution will occur at beta position is it clear now we will discuss the mechanism of this reaction See here what happens, the red phosphorus, this reacts with the bromine and as a result we obtain here a PBr3 in order to complete, uh, write the balance reaction, uh, I will take the 6 molecules of the bromine because phosphorus acts as a P4 molecule. Thereafter, this was your our carboxylic acid. Here I am taking the ethanoic acid. This acid is having a alpha hydrogen. Now the PBr3 is formed here. This removes uh, the OH group from here and by the chlorine or bromine. Here you will get CH3, C double bond O, and now the OH group is replaced by the PR and the H3PO3 will be formed as a byproduct. Now, here, see. Why we are get, uh, forming here the acid halide? We are getting here uh, acid halide. The name of this acid halide is ethane oil bromide. See, we will discuss here what is the requirement to convert the acid to the acid halide. Actually, the acid halide this 
acid halide thus formed this undergoes enolization with higher rate faster than carboxylic acid and that's why we convert the carboxylic acid to the acid halide now this acid halide CH3 C double bond O and Br will undergo enolization means a tautomerism will occur here what happens the pi terms of the CO bond shifted over the oxygen as a result, the oxygen will acquire negative charge while the carbon will acquire positive charge. Now, in order to compensate the positive charge of the carbon, see, as we know, these alpha hydrogens are acidic. So, the electron pair of the CH bond shifted in between the two carbons. And now, here, as the two electrons shifted in between two carbons, double bond will form here. Now, in between the carbon and oxygen, single bond will be left and this oxygen will acquire now negative charge. So, the H plus I, which will set free from the alpha carbon, will combine to this electronegative oxygen. And you will get a enol form. So, because the acid halide undergoes enolization faster, that's why here the acid was converted to this acid halide. Is it clear? Now thereafter, yeah, this enol form of acid halide attached to the bromine molecule. See, here there is the carbon-carbon double bond, pi bond is here. And you know, uh, type of alkene is here. So, alkene undergoes electrophilic addition reaction. So, here same thing. See, this double bond or the localized electrons or pi bond causes the polarization in the bromine. Uh, one bromine cause, gets partial positive charge while another one gets partial negative charge. And now, these pi electrons will attack the positive terminal or we, or we can say that the positively charged carbon bromine will form bond with the carbon. Now here this bromine may form bond with the terminal carbon or right hand side carbon or maybe with the left hand side carbon. See, because this right hand side carbon is already linked with the two electronegative atoms. So that's why this will have a partial positive character. And here, electrophile therefore will not form bond with the electropositive carbon or the carbon which is having a electropositive nature. So that's why this Br will form bond with the this carbon. So what happens here? We get here H, C, and here Br will form bond. H. Now, single bond will left in between the carbon and carbon. Now, as the two uh, terms shifted over the bromine and this carbon forms bond, so what happens? This carbon has lost its electron. So, in order to compensate its deficiency, the electron pair of OH bond shifted in between the carbon and oxygen. Now, the H plus will set free. This will come out with the Br minus in the form of HBr and here you will get C Br and as the two terms of OH bond shifted in between carbon and oxygen so double bond will form here you get this type of species C substitution occurs at alpha position alpha hydrogen is replaced by the Br now here As we know, water was taken here 
in the <coughs> um, in the medium along with phosphorus, phosphorus water was taken here this is the carbonate compound you know in carbonate compound there is a polarity this here there is the oxygen is partial negatively charged and carbon is partial positive charged and because the electropositive carbon is comparatively more reactive center and that's why it becomes more susceptible for the nucleophilic attack and here water due to presence of the two lone pairs it behaves like a nucleophile and now this water as a nucleophile will attack to the carbonyl carbon and here the electron pair of CO bond pi bond shifted over the oxygen completely then we get what H C here there's the H B R C now single bond will left in between the carbon and oxygen oxygen will acquire now negative charge here it is Br and this carbon will form bond with the O and at this oxygen there are two hydrogens now uh, one lone pair of oxygen are donated to the carbonyl carbon so only one pair of electron will left over the oxygen and will become electron deficient and that's why positive discharge now what happens here as this Br this Br is a very good leaving group so what happens this Br comes out along with the electron pair of CBr bond as a Br minus now carbon becomes electron deficient so in order to compensate its deficiency the extra electron of this CO bond or over oxygen shifted in between the carbon and oxygen and at the same time in order to compensate the positive charge of the oxygen the electron pair of one of the OH bond out of two shifted over oxygen and as a result here from here H plus HP this will combine with the Br minus and comes out in the form of HBr and here H C B R H now we have C and add this now there will be a O H and here there will be a double bond between the carbon and oxygen and we will get the our end product means alpha substituted carboxylic acid. Is it clear?